Birds of Prey are taking center stage this Saturday for the annual Open Door Bird Sanctuary event. Officials say the trails at the site will be open to visitors as well. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has our preview from Door County. Saturday, we've got uh, an open to the public day. We do three of them every winter, and I think this year it's going to be a spring open day, not a, not a winter open day with the wonderful warm weather we've been having. From a great horned owl named Wisdom to this brightly colored snowy owl called Oslo. Open Door Bird Sanctuary Executive Director Rob Holtz says 20 birds of prey are scheduled to be featured. Meeting the raptors that we have here that live here at the sanctuary is just a great way to see birds, special birds that you never get a chance to see up close and personal. Like this one. This is his full name, Sir Percival, but we like to call him Percy, and he is a merlin. What's a merlin? A merlin is a type of falcon. Val Mann is a raptor educator at the sanctuary. She says Percy arrived after falling out of a nest. During rehabilitation, the merlin became imprinted on humans and was not able to be released into the wild. She says she hopes showing birds like Percy has an impact. I think it's, it's really important because then people get a sense of place and hopefully they, they leave from here going away feeling more inspired just to help the natural world. The event also includes guided and non-guided treks on the 34-acre site west of Jacksonport. We have three beautiful hiking trails here at the sanctuary that highlight all the different ecosystems we have throughout the property. This year's been a very, very different winter, but it's still it's a great time to get out, and uh, instead of snowshoes, we'll be wearing hiking shoes. Indoor County, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. The show runs from 11 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. If you want to go, an adult ticket is $10. Children aged 5 to 12 is $7. And kids under 4 get in free. How long have you been at the sanctuary? Uh, two years next month. Okay. Are you a volunteer or do you, you I don't know, is it a regular job? For yep, you? I'm one of the employees here at the sanctuary. Tell me about the, what do you got going this weekend? It looks like. Uh, it's kind of an open day for folks to come out and check it out, what's happening on Saturday. Yeah, so people get to be up close with birds that they might not be able to see normally out in the wild. Um, and we just talk a little bit about each of the birds. And um, we do, I'm going to be leading a hike. I'm going to be talking about maple syrupine. Um, we've got some sap that people will be able to try and taste too. And um, all sorts of fun stuff for people to do. What do you got there? This is his full name, Sir Percival, but we like to call him Percy, and he is a merlin. What's a merlin? A merlin is a type of falcon. Um, he lives, likes to live in the forest, and um, he's he's native to this area, but um, you'll see him in lots of different places too. Is it, what's it like for folks to come out and see birds like this? I'm sure that the what's the reaction that you get from people that that react to these birds? Yeah, there's so many different reactions. Some people just, you know, you've got the diehard birders that'll come out even with their binoculars, even though the birds are up close, they've got their binoculars out, they've got their bird guidebooks too. We've got people who are super enthusiastic and especially the kids, the kids really love being able to see the birds too. So you, you just see everything from, from really excited to like, yeah, this is cool. I like seeing these type of birds. How important is it to, to show these birds off as opposed to somebody maybe trying to find a bird in the tree or not knowing what they're seeing? I mean, how important is it to actually see them up close? I think it's, it's really important because then people get a sense of place and hopefully they, they leave from here going away feeling more inspired just to help the natural world because it just little acts of, of kindness and um, doing stuff for the wildlife really helps out. Are the, um, are the Merlins in trouble, or what's their status? Are they their, their status is, is they're doing okay. Yeah. They're doing fine, yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to add about Saturday or the, the event or stuff like that? Should be lots of fun, so we hope to see, see a lot of people come out for the first time or their tenth time. All right. Stay right there for a second. Get shot of Merlin. <laughs> the Merlin.
<laughs> Percy, you said Yep, Percy. Percy. Percy the Merle. Got it. All right. Now stay right there for one second. Now, what does this little guy eat? Does he eat so, a raptor, right? I mean, so he has to do some hunting himself? Yeah. Right? Yeah, so they don't hunt here at the sanctuary. Out in the wild, they would. Um, here at the sanctuary, since he's a bird eater, we give him quail, and then he also gets a mouse as well. How but, old is this little guy? You guys know how old? Yeah, because his his injury happened to him when he was a baby, so he's see he like five or six years old. He might be a little bit older. We've got twenty kids here, so the ones that we do know the age, it's yeah. kind of hard to remember them all. Where did you get this guy? You guys know? You said he got hit by a car. Um, he was, he fell out of the nest. Oh, that's where it was. Okay. Yeah, and he, while in rehab, he became imprinted. So oh, he's yeah. totally forgotten what it's like to be a bird because when birds are born, yeah. they, they don't know they're a bird. So um, he just had to go through some really intense rehab. How heavy is he? Can't be that heavy. No, he's just a few ounces. But these guys can really move, can't they? Oh yeah, they're they're super fast. These guys are the medium speed of the Falcon, so even at medium speed, it's pretty fast. Okay. Like 100 miles an hour, or no? Yeah, around 120 miles per hour, and that's their dive speed, not their horizontal flight speed. Wow, that's pretty good. Yep. <laughs> I'll get you a ticket anywhere. Yeah, well. <laughs>